Let's look at the contours that are necessary for an ESRT lung patient. First, I'll adjust the window level and select the auto default of abdomen and make some small changes to the window level. And the red contour you see here is the GTV, and this was contoured on the free breathing helical scan. And here I can use the slider bar to move down to the CT MIP, which was fused with the helical scan. And the CT MIP is our maximum intensity projection scan. And this shows the tumor in its maximum extent, or maximum projection, and it's outlined here in green. And this denotes our ITV. I will then show you the PTV. Let's go back to the free breathing CT. And so you can see the PTV is five millimeters around the ITV. So this PTV accounts for all motion of this target volume. Next, I'll show you how to contour one of the lungs. So the left lung is here in blue, and that's already contoured for us. I'm then going to show you how to contour the right lung. So I'll turn the VOI bounding box on. I'm going to zoom out to pull in both the lateral aspects of the bounding box and the anterior and posterior aspect. And here on the coronal, I'll move the inferior and superior bounding box. And then I can go to segmentation wizard. I select that icon, select lung, and next, and next again, and this will autofill our right lung volume. So the next step is to post-process this volume. So I'll go to the post-processing icon, and I will um, select enhancement, smoothing, and fill all cavities, and then go ahead and hit apply. And oh, let's use fill all cavities. There we go. And this will just help minimize our manual adjustments. I'll use this eraser tool to remove the lung out of the trachea. So I'll have to go ahead and erase this on every slice. But for the sake of time, um, I will skip the remaining part of the lung. Let's move on to the heart contour. So the heart's here in red. And the first slice of the heart is where the vessels start entering the chamber. So you can see here's the vessels here, and that's our first slice, or our most superior slice. And then it starts entering the chamber of the heart. And we've used the red outline to outline the contour here, the heart, and continue inferiorly until we don't see the heart contour anymore. Next, let's look at the liver. So the liver's here in magenta. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the paintbrush tool and show you how to contour a slice of the liver. So I'm gonna go on the outside of the liver, outlining it with the paintbrush tool. I wanna make sure to avoid the bowel here. And the whole time I'm doing this, I'm holding the control button down and that way when I'm finished, it will auto fill in this circle. There you go. And here on the coronal slice, you can see it's not interpolated. So I'll hit interpolate, cubic, and okay. And this auto fills in between our slices. Make sure to look at every slice though and make sure the liver looks correct on every slice. And next, let's look at the esophagus. So the esophagus is here in orange. And let's look at the most inferior extent of the esophagus. It's where the esophagus enters the stomach. And then we'll track this contour superiorly. We want to make sure that we don't overlap the esophagus with the heart. And the esophagus is a very long structure. So we have a lot of slices. So this would be a good tool to use the interpolate button on as well. But remember to double check every slice. And we'll continue superiorly to when we first see the esophagus form. And that's coming up. So right about here, yep, right here is the last 
slice our esophagus. And then the next contour I want to point out is the spinal cord. Here in red, it's denoted as a circle. We don't contour the whole vertebral canal, but just a circle of the spinal cord. And we'll contour this down to the bottom of L2, L3 interspace.